And now we're on Daf Mem Dalid Amid Beis, the mission. A Nazir who contracted Tumas Mess during his Nazirus, he has to be retired from his Tuma, and he's required to be Megaleach Si'oro. And then he starts counting again from the beginning his Nazirus. And the mission is going to go through the Seder of Tara and Tiglachas. Tiglachas, Tuma, Ketzad. When the Torah requires that the Nozir, within the context of the process of his Tara, he needs Tiglachas, what is the Seder, the order, the sequence? Choyam Maze, if on the third and seventh day he receives Hazor, the sprinkling of the May offer Paraduma. This week we're going to read Parashas Para. So here we get an insight into Para. So Tomei Mes requires Hazor B'Shlishi B'Shmi, Galeach, then if he's a Nazir, then on the seventh day, Miyom Ashvi, he requires Giluach, and after the Giluach, maybe Karbonosov Bishmini on the eighth day, after his tar is complete, he will bring his Karbonos on the fact that he was Tomin. And as we've discussed in the past, he has to bring three Karbonos, one for a Chatos, one for an Ola, and one for an Asham. And that's called Bo Bayon, Dire Rabbi Akiva. So Bo Bayon means that on that very eighth day, he brings his karbanos. He doesn't have to wait until the next morning because he already did the Giluach on the eighth day. So one second. If, again, if everything was done perfectly, Lechatchila, he should bring his Karbanas on the eighth day following his Tiglachas and Yom Hashvi. What's the Chiddush of Rabbi Akiva? In this particular scenario, he delayed his Giluach from the seventh day, which would have been the perfect ideal mitzvah, to the eighth day. Nevertheless, Rabbi Akiva says he doesn't have to wait one day, so that normally the process would require that the karbanas are brought a full day after the tiglachas, meaning tiglachas on shvi and karbanas on shmini. But that one day delay between tiglachas and karbanas is not an absolute requirement such that if he delayed his Tiglachas to Yom Hashmini, then following his Tiglachas and Yom Hashmini, he will bring his Karbanos on that Yom Hashmini, and he doesn't have to delay for another day to separate Tiglachas and Karbanos Nazir by a day. And Rabbi Tarfon is not, is not so happy about this. And the Mishnah records a dialogue here between Rabbi Tarfa and Rabbi Akiva. Omelo Rabbi Tarfa, Rabbi Akiva turns to Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Tarfa turns to Rabbi Akiva and he says, Ma bein zel Why are you differentiating between Nazir on the one hand and Mitzorah on the other hand? A Mitzorah also, in the process of his Tara, he requires Tiglachas on Yom Hashvi, and then brings his karbonos the next day on Yom HaShmini. And if he delays, and this is something they did that Rabbi Tarfin heard from Rabbi Akiva himself, that if he delayed his tiglachas from Yom HaShvi to Yom HaShmini, that he cannot bring his karbonos on the same on the very same day of his tiglachas, but rather he'll have to wait till Yom HaShvi, till the ninth day, to bring his karbonos because there must be a one-day delay between the Tiglachas and the Karbonos. So why do you differentiate and contrast Nazir with Mitzorah, Amalo? 
So Rabbi Kiva responds, Rabbi Tarfa, and you cannot compare Nazir to Mitzorah. Shazer, because in the case of Nazir, who contracted Tumor to a mess, Taraso Tluya Biyamov, his Tara is a result of the Hazos and the Tvila, the Hazos of Yemei Shlishi, Yemei Shvi, and then the Tvila and Tabikva on Yom Shvi. It's not that the Tara depends upon the Tiglachas. Again, there is a din of Tiglachas and a requirement thereof, but not as a critical part of his Tara process. His Tara is generated by Hazos and Tvila. By contrast, Mitzora, Tarosa, Tluya, Vitiglachto. The Tiglachas of a Mitzora is an integral, critical part of his process of Tara purification. And through his Tiglachas, he becomes Tar. And after his Tiglachas, and only after his Tiglachas, can he be Tovel in order to complete his process of Tara, so that the Tiglachas has to come first before the Tvila, because the Tiglachas is going to generate his Tara. So now we have a situation, a scenario, in which he delayed his Tiglachas from Yom Hashmi till Yom Hashmini. And therefore, his tvila must, by definition, be Yom Hashvi. And only on, by Yom Hashmini, right? On that day of his Tiglach. And therefore, on that Yom Hashmini, that is the day in which he was tar. The Eino Mevi Karman Elim Kain Hayim Orov Shemesh. On the day of the tvila, he cannot bring his karbonos because he needs Harif Shemesh. His Tara process is not clinched, is not completed by Tvila. And we have to wait till Shkias Hachama, till Harif Shemesh. And therefore, only tomorrow, the next day, can he bring his Karbanos. Because a Mu'ukav uh, Harif Shemesh, if a person has not yet achieved Harif Shemesh, after his tefillah, he's, no, he's not completely tar. So there's a fundamental difference here between the Nazir's obligation for Tiglachas, in a case where he contracted tumor, as opposed to the Mitzorah's obligation of Tiglachas. The Tiglachas of a Mitzorah, of a Nazir, is not L'shem Tara. It's not for the purpose of Tara. His Tara is through Hazan Tvila, as we said before, like any other Tomek. Okay, he has a mitzvah of Tiglachas. That's already a din of Naziris. And a Nazir Shinitma Vinitar requires Tiglachas, but that Tiglachas is not part of his Tara. And therefore, since his Tara was absolutely complete on Yom, Ash, on Yom Ashvi, after his Tfilah, then the very next day he could bring his Karbonos, even though he will be Mekayim, his mitzvah to Tiglachas on that very day, Yom Hashmini, because he didn't do so in its proper time, in its ideal time in Yom Hashmini. But in the case of Tumas Tzaras, as opposed to Tumas Mes, his Tara, the Tara of Tzaras, of a Mitzorah, requires Tiglachas. And the Giluach is the completion of his Tara. And only afterwards, can he be Tovel? And this is going to derive from the Pesukim. So therefore, he cannot be makrav on that day because he can only bring karbonos after, right? In other words, he needs to be mashal of his tara through shkia sacham after his tefillah, and then the next day to bring his karbonos. And the Gemara vacillates, kibla mine ola. After Rabbi Kivi gave his whole response and his explanation to Rabbi Tarfan, did Rabbi Tarfan in fact accept Rabbi Akiva's logic or did he reject it? Tashma, the Tani Hillel. Now, this is an Amora whose name is Hillel, and he would teach Brysos. Gileach, Gilach, Ba Shmini, maybe Karbonosa Bichi. So now we talk about a Nazir, and 
the Nazir delayed his Giluach, his Tiglachas, by a day. Instead of Shvi, he did it on Shmini. And yet he cannot bring his Karbonos on that day of Shmini. He has to wait till Chi. Meaning that the Tiglachas is a critical element in his Tara. And now we're talking about a Nazir. Visal Kedaito Kiblumine. Then Lacey Karbonos of Shmini. This price, Selach Oro, should be attributed to Rabbi Tarfon, who objects to and disagrees with Rabbi Akiva, because if Rabbi Tarfon accepted the view of Rabbi Akiva, he should be able to bring his Karbanas on Shmini. On my Rava, Rory checks low cash. What happened in this price? Had it told Bishvili, Bishvi, Hab it the low top Bishvi. The Brisa is talking about a case where instead of being Tovil and Shvi, he waited and delayed till Shmini, and then he was Tovil and he did his Tiglachas. He can't bring his Karbanas on that day. He needs Harif Shemesh. And Rabbi Akiva would not deny that in such a scenario, he certainly has to wait till Chi to bring his Karbanas. But Rabbi Akiva and Mishnah. And it's possible that Rabbi Tarfan accepted the logic of Rabbi Akiva, was talking about a case in Rabbi Akiva's scenario, the Tvila took place on Shvi. So there was Shkia Sachama and Harav Shemesh on Shvi going into Shmini. And therefore, he was completely tar. He could immediately do his Giluach on Yom Shmini and bring his Karbonos. Okay, now the Gemara is going to address the law of Tara of a Zav. A person who sees one Re'i of Zav is not Tommy to a Zav. He's a Valkyrie. And he's Tommy just for that one day. He goes to the Mikvah and he becomes Tar. But if he sees two Re'iyos of Ziva, then he's a Zav. And in order to purify himself, he needs to count seven days. And only on the seventh day is he be tovel b'mayim chayim. And then he's not chayim akar. But if he sees three re'iyos, then in addition to counting seven days and be tovel day seven, he also requires a karma. Shnei torim o shnei b'nei yonah on the eighth day. So he was tovel b'shvi. He had Harif Shemesh with Shkia Sechama. He became Tar. And he brings Karbonos on Yom Hashmini. Now, the dinim that apply to someone who's Tommy B'tum Zav are the following. First of all, he's not allowed to enter into the Machna Levia, which is Yushalayim was divided up into three parts. All of Yushalayim until Harabayas is called Machna Yisrael. All of the Arabais until the Pesach Hazor is called Machna Levia. And that leads him up to what's called Shar Nikonar. Now, the thickness of the Shar Nikonar itself was included under Machna Levia. Now, from the entry of the Azara and going Lefnim, that's called the Machna Shechina. And as we said before, a Zav is enjoined from entering into Machna Levir, which is the Harabais. Now, in contrast to a Zav, we could mention a Mitzora, he's got to go, he's excluded from all the Machnas, all of you shall I. A Tommy Mess is only excluded from Machna Shechino. Now, after the Tower of the Zav, let's say at Shol Shreios, he's Chayv Karman, he's allowed to enter into the Machna Levia, but not to the Machna Shechino because he hasn't brought his Karbonos yet. So he'd be allowed to enter into the Harabayas. After his Tara, even before he brought his karbonos.
he could also enter into the Ezra's Noshim in the base of Migdash. And between the Ezra's Noshim and the Azara, there was an opening, a Shar, which is called Shar Nikonor. And from that opening in on, that's called the Machna Shechina. Now, if he's a Baal Shalosh Re'iyos, a Zav Baal Shalosh Re'iyos, we said has to bring his Karbonos. And since he cannot enter into the Azara, he cannot be there for his Karbon at the time of that Krav. He's going to stand at the Shar Nikonor until after his Karbon is brought. And our Sugya, which begins with Abaye, is going to address the question of a Zav who is Tovel for his Tara, but he hasn't yet had Harev Shemesh. Is he allowed to enter into the Machna Shechina? Does Tvil itself on Yom Tar Rosso, Matir, the entry into the Machna Shechina, do we have to wait till Harev Shemesh? Omar Abayi Ashkechetinu Lechavre. The Rabbi Nosan Bar Oshaya, I encountered the colleagues of Rabbi Nosan, the Yasmin Vika Omrin. They were learning and they sat and they made the following statement based on a Brisa interpreting Vayikra Tezvav, the parasha of Zav. Where it says, So, what do we derive from this possible? Emasai hu ba. When does he come, Lifne Hashem? When is he allowed to go all the way to the Pesach Azora and hand over his karbonos to the Kohen? Bizman shu toval vi osarif shemesh. Only after harif shemesh, the tefil itself is not enough. In below toval vi osarif shemesh. On the day of his tefillah, of his tefillah, um, he hasn't yet experienced Harif Shemesh. Lo, he's not allowed to come all the way to the Pesach Hazorah. The Pesach indicates that Rochatz Pesor B'Yom HaShvi, Ba HaShemesh V'Nital HaMachras B'Yom HaShmini, Yochel Lovi, Lovo, Ad Pesach Hazorim Karbonos. But, not before that. So he's not allowed to enter into the Machdal of Via, which surrounds the base of Migdash, and therefore Mameli can't come into the Pesach Hazor. That's the price. And the Chaverim of Rabbi Nosa Bar Oshia would prove from this Alma, Kasar, the Tainas of the Opinion, Shetful Yom Shal Zav Kizav that despite the fact that this Zav was Tovil, if he hasn't yet experienced Harif Shemesh, then he's like a Zav, Mamish, like a Zav. He's not allowed to enter into the Machdal of Vir, like a Zav. Now, the Posk is talking about a case of a Zav who had Shol Shri'iyos, he's Chayim and Karbonos. As far as the Din is concerned, there's no difference between a Zav Baal Shtei Re'iyos and a Zav Baal Sholosh Re'iyos. Once he becomes a Zav and he's Tomei, he's not let into the Machdal of Vir, even though he only saw two Re'iyos. And from this Pasuk, we derive the conclusion that even after his Tvila, if he didn't have Harif Shemesh, his Din is that of a Zav. He's not let enter into, into the Machdal of Vir. And this is what Abai heard from the Chaverim of Rabbi Nosan, and he rejected it. He's going to try to prove that the Brayse didn't have in mind to derive from the Apostle that a full Yom of Vizav is not let enter into the Machnesh Levir. But rather, says Abai, Amina Lahona Nan, this is what I told these, these Chaverim, these Talmidim. Elameyata, if you're going to darshan the Apostle of Yom Hashmini, 
Yikach lo shteit torim, ubo lifnei Hashem el Pesach ol Moed. And before that, he's not allowed to enter into the Machna Levia. Is then the conclusion is Gabi Nazir Tome, a Nazir who contracted Tumas mess, and he needs to be retire himself in order to bring his Karbonos Nami. We should darshan likewise. Dixiv, it says with regard to a Nazir, Uvayom Ashmini, Yavishte Torim, O Shnebena Yono, El Akoen. El Pesach Ol Moed. So we can dash in it in the following way that just like Zav, Emasai Huba, when could the Nazir come with his Korbanos to the Pesach Azorah? That's Bismanshet Toval, the Osa Harif Shemesh. And that's what it means when the Pesach says, Bayom Hashmini, that after he was Tovil on the Shvi, and then he had Harif Shemesh after the Shvi. Then the next day he could come to the Peskazor with his components, but not before Harif Shemesh. The feel itself is not enough. And here on the top of him, hey, this is not possible that the Nazir is not allowed to come with his components before Harif Shemesh, because Michti Shari Nikonor. Which is the Pesach of the Azorah Hecha Kaimin, Bishari Levia. Right? It's within the Gvul, the boundary of Mach Levia. And only from there and onwards, Pnima, is it called Mach And now you're going to tell me that the Nazir is, that was Nitma Lemes, that was Tovel, is not allowed to go until there, but Sadi, we have a Brysa, Tome Mes, Mutuli Konis, with Mach Levia. And a Tommy Mess is more kal, relatively light, compared to an Azav. Azav is not allowed to enter into the Machnulavia. The low Tme Mess Bilvad, not only is the Tme Mess allowed to enter into the Machnulavia, El Afilu Mess Atzmo, you're even allowed to take the Mess into the Machnulavia. Shenemar, and this we derive from a Pasuk. Vayikach Moshe, Satzmo, Seal Safe, Imo. When Klal Yisrael went up from Mitzrayim and Moshe Rabbeinu took the Atzmos Yosef there from, from Mitzrayim, where they were buried, it says, Vayikach Moshe Atzmos Yosef Imo. And we ask my Imo, what is this extra word Imo coming to teach me? Imo b'mechitzoso, Imo b'machna levir. Moshe was a levi. And Imo b'mach Levir. So it's impossible to be redacted from the Pasuk in Nazir by Yom Hashmini Yovish Tei Sorim El Pesach Ol Moed that on the seventh day he's not allowed to go into the Mach Levir. His Tumor is no worse than a Tommy Mess, and a Tommy Mess is allowed to go into the Mach Levir. Even the Mess himself could enter into the Tachman. As we derive from Yosef from Imo. So we have no choice but to interpret the Pasuk as telling me that the obligation to bring Karbonos is only Karbonos. The Pasuk is telling me he's Chayev to bring his Karbonos. And we're not going to be dyke that yesterday he was also to come there. And therefore, we should interpret in this way when the Pesach says in Parsha Zavu by Yom Hashmini Yikach Lo Shnei Sorin etc. Bolifnei Hashem. The Pesach is telling me and establishing, formulating his Chiyuv Havas Karbonos. It's not coming to be midayik that on Yom Hashmini, excuse me, on Yom Hashvi after his Tefillin he's a Tful Yom. He's not the Zav is not allowed to come to the Machna Levia. as was brought uh, in the name of the Chaver of. Her, Rabbi Nassim Baroshi and the Bryson. Ella, therefore, 
Abai comes to the following conclusion. Tful yom shel zav, lav ke zavdom. After his tefillah on Yom Ashvi, the Zav is, we'll call him a Yom, is permitted to enter into the Machtel And the fact that he doesn't have Harif Shemesh is not going to be a barrier and prevent him from entering into the Machtel And not like the Chaverim of Rabbi Nosan. Vafilu Hachi, even though a Tful Yom of Zav is allowed to enter into the Machtel that's only with regard to a Zav Bal because he doesn't bring Karbonos L'Tarosa. But a Zav Bal Shalosh Riyos who's Chayiv in Karbonos, came in the Mechusar Kapara, his Tara is held up and will only be clinched, will only be completed when he brings his Karbon of Kapara. Well, Karbon means Kapara, Kapara means Karbon. So Biyom Shvi, after his Tefillah, and it's before Harif Shemesh, not only does he need Harif Shemesh, he also hasn't brought his Karbonus Vitara. He's called a Mechus Kapara. And therefore, Lo Ayel, he's not let enter into the Mach And the Bryce is talking about a case of a Zav Bal Sholosh So this drosh of the brisa, from the fact that in the regard to korbanos of a zav, in vayikra tesvav ubayom hashmini yikach lo shtei sorim of shnei bnei yonu volif nei hashem pesach al moed is vei b'mach the leviyakai. At the moment that he brings his korban, he is situated. He's located in the mach the leviyah, not in the mach the shechina. Right, a tome, before he brings his carbonus, is not let it into, enter into the Machna Shechina. We're going to see this later on. Is Amai Kakari Le Oel Moed? Why does the Torah describe that place where he's standing as Pesach Oel Moed, which is the Machna Shechina? Pesach Oel Moed is in the Yazora, certainly the Machna Shechina. So this possible bar lifnei Hashem or Pesach al Moed cannot be t- interpreted literally, but rather it's for sure that lememra that the pasuk is coming to teach me that we should compare Machna Levia to Machna Shechina with regard to the following did Ma Hasam just like that in Pesach al Moed Mechusa Kapolo Ayel he who's chayiv in his korbanos as part of the process of Tara cannot enter into the Pesach al Moed is Afla Machna Shechina Levia Nami Mechusa Kapara Lo Yael If he's Mechusa Kapara and we'll call him a Tful Yom he cannot enter so if someone is only missing his Havos Karbonos which is called Mechusa Kapara he's not allowed to enter into the Machna Shechina He's allowed, he's permitted to enter into the Machta Levia. But from the Pasuk, we're in the Darshan, that there is a case in which Machusa Kapora is enjoined from either ent- even entering into the Machta Levia. And what's that? That's the case where he's missing Harif Shemesh in addition to Avos Karbonosa. So a Zav Baal Shol Shri'ios, who is Tovil Biyom Ashvi, and it's before Harif Shemesh, and tomorrow he's going to bring his Karbonos, He's not allowed to enter into the Machdal Levia. And that's what the Brysa means. Not the way they interpreted the Chaverim of Rab Nosan, that anyone who's a full Yom of a Zav, even if it's Shteriyos, is not allowed to enter into it. And how do we know that a Mechusa Kapor is not allowed to enter into the Machdal Shekhin of a Hosom? In the case of Mechusa Kapor, we know on. How do we know from whence do we derive that he's not allowed to enter into the Machdal Shekhin? Seems like such a basic halacha. But it's not explicit in the Torah that he's prohibited. He's already done Tvila. And he answers this Sanya. We learned in a Brisa, because the Brisa is darshaning what it says in the parish of the Torah with regard to a Tomei and the 
prohibition from Bamidra uh, Yutes, the Iser Knisa Satome Lemachna Shechina. Is the post says, Colin Ogea, the mace, the nefesh, Adama, Shayamus, Tome Yer. And these words are superfluous. They're coming to teach me the rabbis to full yom, that a full yom who hasn't yet had Harif Shemesh is not allowed, he's enjoined from entering into the Azara. And when it says, O to Maso Bo, which are also superfluous words, Come to teach us the rabbis mechusar kapara, that he too is enjoined from entering into the azara, and this leads us to the mission of Ritz Hashem tomorrow on Daf Memhe. And for those who are celebrating Purim today in Yerushalayim, it's very mitzad sofik. Have a happy Purim.